Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. Let's check out more of the town of Sedit. Maybe meet some of the other caravan companies. There's the Crimson Caravan, yep. <laughs> what does that graffiti say? Does this say Eugene sucks? Dimitri's really lost it. Uh oh. Are you Dimitri? Hey there, how's it going? I'm Dimitri. Dimitri Romara. I run the Crimson Caravan. Best damn caravan in the wasteland. You looking for work? <laughs> none of your business. My employment status is none of your business. <laughs> hmm. This is probably a terrible idea, because the person outside the door said that uh, Dimitri's losing it, but I'm going to prod Dimitri a little bit. How do you know that the Crimson Caravan's the best, hmm? Hell's bells, I just know. We choose the most dangerous routes, and we pay 600 bucks per job. Fuck, no one else will give you that. We had to move here, and we're still the best, damn it. Hmm, doesn't seem like he's lost it. Seems just full of charisma. Move? What do you mean? Those motherfucking mutants destroyed the whole hub. That's what I mean. Shit, the Crimson Caravan ruled there, and we almost pushed all the other companies out. The hub. Is it a town? The hub was a town. Well, they raised it to the ground, those filthy super mutants. After that fucking master of theirs was killed, they scattered throughout the land, destroying everything they came across. There wasn't anyone to defend it? Shit, you kidding me? There was a lot of us, but it wasn't no child's play. You can't kill a super mutant that easy. You feed him with a proper burst from your shotgun and the shithead doesn't fucking wink. On top of that, there's a fucking swarm of them and I swear their weapons could melt the concrete. They reduced the hub to ashes in just a few moments. Fuck. When we saw with Carrie that the hub was finished, we left. We settled in this godforsaken place and built everything from scratch again. Damn it, enough about me. I want to hear what you went through. Shootouts, killing mutants, saving kids, huh? Well, <laughs> I think I forgot most of it. Well, with the amnesia and all, but here you go. Holy moly, you don't say. The main... The main course of giant rats, that poor village. Wait, the main course of giant rats, that poor village. What? That sentence doesn't make any sense. Any, any sense at all to me. Damn, you're saying they got a surplus of goods? Yeah, that's what you said. We could start a caravan trade with them. We talked to Carrie, yeah. It's a golden goose right there. Who's Carrie? Okay. Who's Carrie? Are you Carrie? Who the hell's Carrie? Are you Carrie? No, 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 don't loot the books, that's theirs. Who the hell are you? If you're looking for a job, talk to Dimitri. I'm Rena. Good, my name's Carrie. Since the introduction's over, will you tell me what the hell you want? Um, neither of these options seem right. Dimitri hired me for some job? Well, no. I thought we are supposed to set up a trade route or something. That jerk must have gone full retard, or he's deliberately trying my sanity. Oh, this dialogue is great once again. <clears throat> Shouldn't be talking like, like this about your old man. Oh, so Carrie must be the Dimitri's daughter. What's wrong? It's not the first time. That son of a bitch thinks I'm going to start taking care of things again. It's not enough to say it five times already. I'm about to snap, and when I do, I'm gonna kick his ass. Hey, I'm still here. What's going on? Sorry, but that senile old man still hasn't got the memo that I don't work here anymore. You don't? Why? 
I just feel that nothing matters anymore. I worked pretty hard for the Crimson Caravan while at the hub. Everything was going so nicely, but eventually ended in ashes anyway. I'm sorry to hear that. So what are you going to do then? Don't even know myself. I need to get the hell out of here and finally experience some real action. I can't live with the old bastard anymore. I'd probably end up blown to bits by a bomb left at the toilet sooner or later anyway. Ooh, I can recruit her? Sweet! Come with me then. Sometimes there's too much action for one to handle. What kind of action do you have in mind? <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of action I can have her join me in my sexual or or orgies? Uh, no thanks. I've lost my memory. There's a group of ghouls trying to ghouls trying to kill me, but they wear a strange talisman that's the only lead back to my memory. Not to mention common muggings, assaults, and rats that want to eat me for dinner. Hell, that's what I call an action. An action? A single action? Count me in so we can be off. Let's go. Alright, cool. I love Woofer, but uh, Woofer's not too good in combat. Carry though, might be. Let's see what she's got. Um. Wait, I can't trade with her? I thought I couldn't trade with Woofer because they're a dog, but I can't trade with her either. Maybe I just don't understand how that whole system works. Uh, like, what is she using? She has no weapon. No, oh, combat knife. Mm, so she's skilled in melee weapons. Okay. Eh, not what I would have preferred. Still, though, probably stronger than Woofer. Decent carrying capacity. Melee damage one. Oh, uh, that's not good. Well, she's got a little bit of armor. She's got a good amount of hit points. A lot more than me. Alright, let's see. Oh, show me what you're carrying. Is that the same thing as trade? Ah, okay. Whew! She's got a grenade. Tiny bit of money, couple stim packs, and a grenade. Okay. So yeah, if I find a better melee weapon, I can give her something better than a knife. But I've got nothing of the sort. Well, I might as well take that money from her. Does her no good at all. I don't know if they can use stim packs. I don't know if they'll use stim packs on themselves if they get low on health. I think they might, so I'm going to leave that. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll leave the grenade on her. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll transfer that to me later. I just hope she doesn't randomly throw it and blow me up or something, but we'll see. Okay. Mm, talk about your equipment. What can you do? Best with knives of all kinds, including the throwing ones, but I don't shy away from other melee weapons or small arms. Small arms, okay. Most importantly, been around caravans, so I know quite a lot about bartering. Hmm. No loads of haggling tricks. A little remark about the quality of goods or the respectability of the other side can do wonders. Wait, so can I have her, like... I don't know how this works. If she... If she has really good hackling skills, I mean, can I buy stuff with her? Or does just having her in my party, like, passively increase my prices at vendors? I have no idea how that works. Alright, anything else? I want to ask you something... Do you have anything to say about... Woofer? That scabby, stinking, drooling beast is quite fun. I like it. Good. Because otherwise you'd have to leave. What do you know about this place? Oh, I've already asked all this stuff. Mm. Please control the whole town with the exception of the Lost Town. Have we talked about the Lost Town before? Um, solid place. If you're looking for a place to release some steam, I can guarantee that. But doing any business with Rodriguez, who's in control of the area, is a fucking bad idea. Oh yeah, we did talk about the Lost Town. Okay, yeah. Alright, do I have a spare pistol to give her? Well, I mean, I got, I've got my spare pistol. Yeah, alright. 
You can have it. Whoops. I uh, probably need to put that in my inventory. There we go. Uh, show me what you're carrying. Why don't you take this? Then you're going to need some ammo. All this ammo is completely useless to me, so you might as well take it all. There we go. Alright. Cool. We didn't exactly set up a trade route, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Lives are at stake somewhere out there and you're not there. Uh, damn, and the caravans are waiting. What? He's acting like we just talked about a job, but we didn't. Unless I'm going to go to set up trade route with um, the first town I started at? Is that the job? I don't know. They're not ready to depart yet. Wait, what is this? You missed some good action? I'm <laughs> I'm sure there wait, I'm sure there are packs of predators, mutants, and all kinds of beasts sharpening their claws for a caravan. Nothing beats a good shootout. Meanwhile, take this to play with before the next caravan's ready. He hands you a hand grenade. You notice that the grenade's pin is released. You quickly place the pin in its right place. <laughs> Let's do that. Jesus Christ. So did they just... Yeah, gave me a grenade. Thanks. Might just sell that. I think it's worth a lot. How can I help? Who are you? I'm Johnny. Who are you? I'm Rina. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for work. Oh, that must be you. The boss said he just hired somebody. But he sent me to see Carrie. Uh, yes, he does that sometimes. But trust me, I'm the one you should talk to regarding work. Alright, what do you got for me? I hire caravan guards and I have some extra work from the boss, especially for you if you're interested. Hmm. What does Dimitri want from me in particular? I've heard the boss found out from you about some place with a surplus of crops, but lack of other means. What was the name? Uh, New Hope? Yeah, that's it. Nice name. So the boss wants you to negotiate an exchange of goods deal. Our caravan would travel to them every month. The business would take place. Business profitable... Business profitable for us as well as for them. The thing is, we want to be the first to have a deal with them. There won't be space for other caravans in a place that small, so the first company will be the last one. Other companies probably won't be interested anyway. It's too far away. You better hurry, just to make sure. Alright, let's do it. Come back when you're taking care of it. And how much do I get paid? Uh, sorry for not telling you this. The Crimson Caravan always pays good money for good work. You get 800 caps, if you manage to negotiate regular trading with our caravans. Okay, <clears throat> let's flex this speech skill. More. I'm sorry, but I can't give you more. Take it or leave it. God damn it. I wonder if speech checks are even happening when I pick options like that, or if I'm just wasting my time. Alright. 800 caps is pretty damn good. Oops. Is that a formal quest? Yeah, it is. Good. They said do it sooner rather than later, but... Meh. I don't think it'll hurt to wait a little bit. Let's see what else is here. Maybe there's some loot in these abandoned homes. Ooh, booze. There's 
some goo on the ground. Ew. Woofer. Please move. Thank you. Um, where's Carrie? Oh, there you are. Can you follow a little bit closer? Stay close to me. Creeps me out when I look behind me and I don't see her. Get out of the doorway. Oh, here we go. It's supposed to be the, the ghoul place. As soon as you enter the place, a ghoul dressed in a short apron with lipstick and women's earrings speaks to you in a woman's voice. Welcome to Falcon's Flight, stranger. What brought you here? Whether you're hungry, thirsty, or just looking for a place to lay down your head, you've come to the right place. All you have to do is go directly to the bar. I like this place. Who works here besides you? There's three of us. The place is run by Rene. He's a very nice and hard-working boss. I'm sure you'll like him when you get to know him. Then there's Mimi. But you'd do better not to speak with her. She's been acting obsessively ever since we were attacked. She doesn't leave the kitchen and is apparently lost in all kinds of crazy plans. I don't understand her at all, poor girl. Hmm. This seems like kind of a rude question, but I'm going to see if this leads anywhere. Are you a waitress? Uh, what you're saying is it as if, as if you were surprised. I've worked as a waitress for many years. There's no one better than me when it comes to welcoming and serving guests. It's a terrible shame I don't get enough of any of those lately. You know, we rarely get more than one or two customers a day. I don't understand why there's so few of them. But I don't want to trouble you with this. That's purely our business. Well, the problem is people are a bunch of fucking assholes. I welcome you to the Falcon's Flight. I'm Renee. What can I offer you? A few questions. Hopefully I can help them out. Have you ever seen this sign? The talisman? Renee looks surprised. You know, I have. The ghoul that's staying with us has one just like this. He crawled in here in the middle of the night, seriously wounded. On the edge of insanity, he just kept babbling something about succeeding and hoping that someone was finally dead. We gave him a room upstairs, even though he didn't have a single cap on him. Maybe he's been trying to tend to his wounds ever since, but he's getting no better. I guess he won't be around much longer. If you want to talk to him, you'll find him in the room at the end of the hall to the right. But I doubt he'll tell you anything useful. He's got to be stark mad from all that rambling. Hmm... Sounds like if my doctor skill was really good, I could maybe help him out, but my doctor skill is very bad. Alright, another question. It's kind of empty in here, isn't it? If you haven't heard yet, us ghouls are sort of unwanted kinds of people and said it these days. Not that we'd been much more popular before, but recently their hatreds hit the roof and keeps rising. People steer away from Falcon's flight like it was on fire. Most of them would like it to just disappear. It's not easy for us. I can imagine. I'm gonna ask something else. Tell me about Sidit. Um, let's see. Anything I don't know? Mm-hmm. Nothing too interesting. What are all the squatters doing here? They came here from the hub, a big city far to the west of Sidit. 
All right, I already know about that place. Mm, looks like that's it. All right, let's go speak with Mimi. Sorry, I'm not in the mood to talk to you. If you need something, talk to Renee. I'm not serving here. It's useless. Besides, I've got tougher nuts to crack. What are those exactly? She looks you over, irritated. You don't act like you don't know anything. The whole town hates us ghouls. People don't want to come to Falcon's Flight no more, and we're scared to go out. It's getting worse and worse. I'm dreading the idea of what's going to come. Sorry to hear that. Can I help in any way? You'd help, ghouls? I'm not in a situation where I could refuse such offer. Such, such an offer, I think it's supposed to say. Um, but you realize the danger you're putting yourself in, right? There's enough talk in Sedit who... Uh, there's enough folk in Sedit who wouldn't shy away from hurting you just because you're consorting with ghouls. I'm not the kind that runs away from problems. How can I help? Me, Renee, and Yvette. Yvette? Is that maybe the person upstairs that I need to talk to? Uh, I need to leave Sedit. We can't... We can't wait until the worst happens. A police unit started to guard Falcon's flight after the last attack, but that's just a whim of the town council. They could change their minds at any time. We've got to leave and we need to do so as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we can't set out on a journey unless we have at least some basic equipment for survival in the wastes. Okay, so why don't you get what you need? Because elementary supplies or armed guards cannot be acquired without caps. Lots of caps we don't have. First, we need to get our hands on some cash. I know of one place where there's enough valuables to cover all our expenses. The Sheriff's Villa. The Sheriff never really liked us, and he's possibly the wealthiest man in Sedit. There'd be no harm in him losing part of his wealth. Fuck, I would love to. I don't know how I'm going to get in there, but God. Fuck the Sheriff. Opulent bastard. Alright, you want me to pick the Sheriff's Villa clean? Uh, not exactly. I only need you to pick a single safe. Years ago, the sheriff got bribed with a few golden nuggets and hid them right in that safe. I know this because cops tend to untie their tongues a bit more than they'd like after a few beer, beers and tequila. If you'd managed to get them, I'm sure they'd pay for the whole journey, maybe even more. We'd finally be able to leave. Alright, I'm in. But I hope you got some, uh, some plans. She still looks at you as suspicion, but your decision has impressed her. I take you for your word, stranger. Find a man named Jeffrey. He's one of the guards at the gate of the Sheriff's Villa. Him and me have already settled on a little cooperation. Originally, he was supposed to steal the nuggets himself, but he asked for more than I can give him. Remember that you're not to hurt anybody or steal anything apart from those nuggets in the villa. I've got enough bad conscience from this as it is. Don't load any more bad stuff on me. All right, deal. Cool. All right, let's save before I talk to this person because I've got a feeling that they might go crazy and try to kill me when I when they see me. The ghoul is just lying on the floor and gurgling softly. He becomes irritated when he sees you. The gurgling grows in intensity as he speaks to you with difficulty. You. You're alive. No. I failed. Totally failed. Yep, they recognize me. Must be the same sort of ghouls that tried to attack me in the random encounter. What are you talking about? We set a trap to get you. There were just three of us left, but we were confident... We would get you. I hit you. I saw that clearly. But you got me too, you bitch. When I woke well, when I woke up, you were gone. But I was hoping you'd crawled off somewhere to die. Or that your body was carried away by wild animals. False hopes. You're here. Walking through the town just like that. If all the normals knew what you are. He gurgles. What? You recollect walking in the darkness. Barely recognizing the shapes of trees. 
rocks in some litter. You're afraid, your whole body a single nervous knot. You feel you're in danger. Then you spot a blurry silhouette of a man, and you shoot at it without hesitation. A shot swishes right next to you, but thanks to the gun's flash, you see the position of a second shooter. You hit that one as well. A moment of calm follows. You're still standing on the same spot, trying to pierce the darkness with your eyes. When you hear a cracking twig, you shoot in that direction, but already there's a shot coming from there. It scratches your head. You fall to the ground, feeling pain, losing consciousness. Hmm. This is how I lost my memory. The ghoul's not listening to what you're saying. You killed the others. I hoped I would be able to get back, at least to tell what happened and where you were, but I was unable to do that. I'll die here, knowing I failed to stop you, knowing that others will have to be sent to finally get you, you pig. You're happy I'm going to die here, aren't you? Uh, what? I'll tell you something important, he coughs, but come closer. He seems to be on the verge of collapsing when he speaks. You can barely hear him. <laughs> Don't get closer, Jesus Christ, he's probably going to try to stab me or something. Alright, get closer. I hope you'll die a slow, painful death for what you're doing. A knife appears in the ghoul's hand. He tries to stab you with it. Due to his serious wounds, his slow reactions um, give you enough time to stop the knife. You wrestle. The ghoul has to use all his remaining energy, but in the end realizes it won't be enough. So he turns the blade towards himself. You both grip the knife's handle when the knife goes deep into his chest and ends his life. Okay. Mm, you recollect the ambush that caused your loss of memory. 500 experience points. Cool. Still about 3,000 more XP till I level up. Knife and another talisman. Hold on. Was it Carrie that said I've got something to say about that? No. Mm. Do you have any insight about what that dying ghoul in Falcon's Flight said? From what he said, it seems there are many more like him who will go after you, willing to get you no matter what. We definitely won't be bored. Yeah, I got what I asked for, to see some action. Hope I won't regret it. Okay. Doesn't look to me like your father minds you leaving with me. That idiot probably hasn't even noticed it or refused to register it. Just like the fact that I no longer work for the Crimson Caravan. Damn it, that dickhead's probably doing it to spite me. Should I look in the rest of the rooms? Nah. Okay, Crimson Caravan, big building, these are all just dumps. Um, I think that's it for this place. Oops. Accidentally transitioned, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go see if we can do this. So one of these two must be Jeffrey. Not you. Here we go. Mimi from Falcon's Flight sent me to take the contents of the Sheriff's safe for a walk. Uh, you know what I mean? I just want to make sure your holdings your part of the deal. Oh yeah, that's real subtle. Talking in code to the person that's like 15 feet away from the other guard. You know, I just want to take the sheriff safe for a walk. Wink, wink. There's a rope over the southern wall every night from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. I don't expect any trouble once you're inside. All the guards don't expect anyone who's not supposed to be there. Could be done with less hassle, but Mimi would have to pay more. Hmm, how? Well, I hope Mimi knows who she's hired. 
Well then, I have the access to the safe. I know it's a combination. I can get you anything you, you need from there. How much will it cost? What do you need from the safe? Gold nuggets. 2,000 caps! Actually, I'm not that far away from that. Oh, wait. Oh, this is to pay them to do it themselves, right? So I don't, I don't need to do that? Right? Okay. Yeah, good, so I don't have to do that. Good, good, good. Okay, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Gotcha. South side, so what, around here? Something like that? Yeah, it's probably red here or something like that. Okay. Where does this transition go? Where am I? Have I been here before? I don't think I have. Hmm. Oh, I missed a conversation. I don't know what the hell they're talking about, but here's a doctor's office. Who are you? I'm Doc, just Doc. That's what people call me. You don't have a normal name? What do you mean, normal? I'm simply Doc. That's enough. Don't bother me with it, or I'll throw you out of here. Alright, I need your help, Doc. Mmm, goodbye. <laughs> I don't actually need help. Oh, it's a bar. What'll it be? Who are you? I'm standing here behind the bar, so who do you think I am? I'm the bartender, and I also happen to be the owner of this place. Hi, I'm Rena. And I'm Clark. Who the hell cares, anyway? Will you have something to drink, or are you gonna flap your tongue dry like that? Yeah, I intend to continue flapping my tongue just as dry as it is. Then go flap it somewhere else. I'm not interested in your bullshit. Yeah, well, okay, bye. Guards, guards, guards. Ooh, set it caravan, another caravan company. Gun place. Check out the gun store. I'm Rena. I'm Sabrina. How can I help you? What do you got? Um, guns, 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 mm-hmm. Do you know where I can get my hands on something heavier? Some real heavy big guns? You know, for my big gun skill? Looks like they can also make modifications. Hmm, what kind of modifications? Desert Eagle. Uh, it's only disadvantage is probably its small magazine. I can make you one for 20 rounds. Hmm. 2,000 caps to turn it from like a, what is it, like 7 rounds or something to 20 rounds? It's kind of neat. Uh, I definitely don't need that right now though, and I couldn't even afford it. Alright, what kind of guns do you have? I'm sure I can't afford any of them, but might as well look. Decent armor for... Hmm. It's not that bad. I'm pretty sure that's better than what I'm wearing. Like, I can actually afford that. But I really like a rifle. Man, shotguns would be cool, but that really doesn't fit my character build. I'm high movement and very squishy, so up close and personal is not a good idea. Assault rifle. Okay. That could be good. 
Yeah, how much for that? Whew. How much is this grenade worth? Oh, it's not as much as I thought. Alright, so if I just sold, like, everything... Can I get anywhere near that? Ooh, that's worth a good amount. Would I have to sell all my stim packs? I couldn't even afford it, even if I freaking sold literally virtually everything. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna buy nothing for now. Save up a bit more money. Check out the Sudded Caravan. What'll it be, lass? Uh, I'm good. Goodbye. Bar office. So office is... Here? Hi there, I'm Kevin. If you're looking for a job with the caravans, I'm the person you should talk to. I'm in charge of that here, so can I help you in any way? What job are you talking about? I'm hiring guards for caravan protection on the 6th and 21st day of every month. Okay, so similar to another one of the companies. Oh, also... errands. Okay, errands. Yeah. Deliver a message to Frederick, the owner of Frederick's Dream. Since the last meeting at the town council, our company has had some unfinished business with him. Things we need to discuss with him. The meeting should take place in the evening in the official room. Can you tell that to him? Sure. Yeah, I still need to do that mission where people try to murder Frederick, right? Now that I've got uh, Carrie on my side and Woofer, I might be able to take him on now. Maybe. I'm kind of scared to do that, though, because I wonder if that's going to ruin my reputation with all the other caravan companies. I don't know. Whatever. I think I'll just do it. Alright, let me make sure that's everything. What's this building over here? It's got no signs, so it's probably not a business or anything. Nope, just some abandoned place. Yeah, nothing of interest. Anything over here? Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go do... Hmm. You know, before I do the whole thing with Frederick, just in case that does ruin my reputation with the rest of the companies, I want to do the quest where I go back to New Hope and um, establish that trade deal. Hold on, I think I can actually leave the map down here. Right? I think I saw some orange. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's go do that, because that's worth, what was it, 800 caps? I really want to buy that rifle if I can, so... Let's do that. Uh, hold on. Let me save first. Okay. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of random encounters, huh? Hmm. Can I take them? I don't know. Let's try it. Shot him in the eyes for 8 hit points. Really? Thought that would have hurt more. Alright, come on, Carrie. Come on, Carrie. Oof. 
SMG. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Fuck. I gotta get that person. Oh, I've got garbage chance to hit him. Garbage chance to hit everyone. It's because of nighttime again, isn't it? I think I'm going to be loading my save. Oof. Oof. I think Woofer's almost dead. Yeah, almost dead. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to load my save game. That's terrible. Yeah, I'm still not equipped well enough to take on those people. Alright, if I see him again, I'm just going to run away. Who we got? Hmm. Friendly? Oh. Yeah, what do you got? That's a whole load of garbage. I mean, I guess I have some garbage too, right? Take some iguanas on a stick? I can't even afford that. Oh my god, that's so sad. Okay, I will sell one iguana on a stick. Alright. Good deal, goodbye. Wish I had a car. They haven't seen us! Run! Run! Should I shoot them? I mean... I guess so? They're not gonna drop anything good, but uh, I guess it's worth it for the XP. You see tough little gecko. Oh, I'm sorry little gecko. I need to, sort of. Get him, Carrie. Get him, Woofer. Dang, how many hit points do you have? Oh, it's almost dead. We got this. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you rev that engine, Woofer. You bite that gecko, Woofer. Did she just take out her knife? Why? Dear God, Carrie, why? Alright, doesn't want her gun anymore. Fair enough. Did something happen? Like, did her gun break or something? I don't think so. Seriously, Carrie, please, please put your weapon back on, your other weapon. Look, even the game thinks your pistol is a better weapon. I really don't feel good about that. Again? 
<laughs> Rats? No. Get the hell out of here. Oh my god, she really wants to use that knife. Couple geckos. Okay. Uh, Carrie, why are you following me instead of attacking the gecko? It's right there. Help me, please. There you go, thanks. Do they ever drop anything? Like their skins, their hides? I guess I'll talk to the mayor about the trade route, right? Look, I found you a friend, Woofer. Let's see. Uh, one of the set of caravan companies would like to establish a trade route with you. They sent me as an intermediary. Would you be interested? Helen thinks about it for a while. We do have a surplus that others might need, and trade could really help us. So yes, I think we're interested. But can you really make it happen? As far as I know, Sedit is very far. Even with the distance, it's still going to be beneficial. So should I let them know that you agree? Thank you. We'll be expecting them. Carrie's got something to say. What do you say about the fact that the Crimson Caravan will be sending caravans to New Hope? It's a good deal for both parties. I'm sure people in New Hope realize the extent of their possible profits, and the Crimson Caravan will no doubt throw some extra incentives in. Of course, no one will... No one will tell them to read the small print. More precisely, that caravans rouse attention and could theoretically even draw in raiders to that godforsaken backwoods of theirs. Hmm, true. Alright, let's head back and collect 800 caps. I hear you, Woofer. That's a lot of scorpions. Wait, it's night time, so my chance of hitting is garbage. No, fuck that. Run! Before they see us. Yeah, their melee attacks won't have any trouble hitting us, but my rounds certainly will. Big waste of ammo. Okay, face them in the daylight. I think they'll die with one hit, so there's no reason to use an aim shot, I think. I actually might need ammo after all this. They're running away?
Got them all. Three hundred sixty XP. Nice. How are we looking on ammo, though? Um, zero extra. Seven out of eight shots. So yeah, I've just got the seven shots loaded. Definitely need to buy ammo. Oh shit! I should have saved. Uh oh. Rats. Do you wish to encounter wanderers? Nah. They just seem to be traders that have like 20 caps and a bottle of booze. Dogs, no! No, no, no. Let's go. Woof, woof. No, carry! No, carry! Leave Woofer alone. What the? Huh? Mantises. Mantises. I don't even know those are enemies. Are those new? I don't remember those from Fallout. Uh, well, I don't have the ammo to waste on that. Let's go out this way. Mm. God, there's so many of them. Take a sip of my tea while I wait for the turn to pass. Oh, I'm out of tea. Ah, we made it. Uh, Crimson Caravan here. Hell no. No, no, no. Nighttime bad. I hate nighttime. There we go. Crimson Caravan, yes. Oh, wait, that's not the person to talk to. Uh, they were thrilled, they agreed, and are looking forward to the first caravan. Great. Possibly glad. Here's your 800 caps. Sweet. Alright, what else you got? A certain farmer who lives in the short lane, name of Peter, has got some special mix of forage for Brahmins. It's the best. That's why all the caravan companies buy from him. Except for us. I want you to make a deal with him for us. You'll get 500 caps, and if you negotiate a better price than the other companies, you'll get a bonus. The better the deal, the bigger the bonus. Okay. Farmer in Short Lane. Peter, Short Lane Farmer. Gotcha. Sounds like easy money. Yeah, if I keep doing these quests, I'm going to be able to afford that rifle in no time. It's probably easier to actually go out to the map, do this. Short Lane, yep. Are you Peter? Yeah, it's gotta be Peter. Ugh, I can't spell save. There. I'm here on behalf of the Crimson Caravan. They're interested in your Brahmin blend and want to make a deal with you. He makes a grimace. Took him long enough. Said it Caravan and Frederick Stream made a deal with me a long time ago. I figure they're not that concerned about the well-being of their Brahmins at the Crimson Caravan. Well, the price of my blend is the same for them as for the rest. 500 caps for a monthly supply.
My offer's 400 and not a cap more. Give me one reason why I should accept an offer like that. I seriously wonder if my speed skill's even being used for anything ever. Isn't it pretty decent? Uh, maybe I could help you with something? He considers this for a moment. There's something you could do for me. A few mantises settled on my cornfield. Damned insects are nothing but trouble. If you manage to kill them, I might cut the price for the Crimson Caravan a bit. Oh yeah, it's a couple over there. Were they there the whole time? Christ, they blend in really well. Oh shit. Well, I guess I'll, I'll take care of him for now. But I'm pretty sure this is going to eat up all my money. I mean, all my ammo. So, six shots left. Five. Four. Three. Missed. Two. Get him, Woofer. One. Harg. Practicing to be a pirate. And I'm out. All right. It's up to Woofer and Carrie. Stab him, Carrie. Come on. Let's get this one's attention. You know what? Why Why did I just use all this ammo? I should have... Like, Carrie doesn't even use the gun I gave her. I should take it back. I've got tons of ammo for that. What am I doing? Oh, well. You, uh, you're gonna move it all, Carrie. Carrie? Carrie's literally not moving. Oh, I guess that's all of them. Okay, Carrie, how about... How about you give me the gun back, the one that you're apparently afraid of or something? Allergic to. Also, I'm gonna take that grenade. I'll just load it with basic rounds. Okay. Those damn vermin are finally gone. Thank you very much. I'm willing to cut 100 caps from the month's price for your help. Alright. I'm gonna risk it. Not enough. How about 200? Tell me one reason why... Uh... Because I want you to... You think I'm an idiot? Either I get 400 caps a month, or you can forget about the whole deal. Seriously, like, are speech checks even happening? If they are, then... God. It must be really high. Really high speech requirements. Okay, we have a deal. Monthly supply of the same volume as the others get, but you'll get it at a 100 cap cheaper. Get it at a 100 cap cheaper. 100 caps cheaper. Not bad. I have a feeling you were good at haggling. Here's your 500 as promised and the 100 as a bonus. Cool. Yeah, once I sell some stuff, I could definitely 
Uh, afford the rifle? Uh, one thing, it's a private job for the boss. Maybe a bit <clears throat> illegal. Are you interested? Alright, sure. You get a thousand caps. He looks around. You have to kill a certain man. One thing sure, though. You don't have to feel guilty. He's not some do-gooder. I can tell you that. As a matter of fact, he's a former member of the Children of the Cathedral. Ah, they were a cult, if I remember right. Who are they? Religious organization ca um, created to cover up the Master's efforts to exterminate all humans and bring him a lot of new subjects to be turned into super mutants. By subjects, I mean people. Ah, that must be the strange, berobed man that I saw. Wouldn't talk with me. Alright, who's the dead man supposed to be? His name's Tadius, and he lives on the edge of the town in Short Lane. Cops don't usually go there, so unless he gets away from you too far, no one will find out who killed him. No one will care anyways. You interested? Hmm. Why do you want to get rid of him? Tadius belonged to the children of the cathedral. It was mainly them who brought people to the master so they could be changed into super mutants. And after the master was killed, super mutants turned into a reckless murdering band drifting through the wasteland. One big group reduced hub to rubble. The Crimson Caravan used to have their HQ there, and they were doing very well. Then the super mutants destroyed everything and killed most of the people in the process. Dimitri and Carrie managed to escape, but they had to build everything they have here from scratch. Dimitri wants revenge. I gotta say that, even though I don't like killing, I can understand that. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm gonna take the job. I probably won't do it, but I'll at least speak with him and, I don't know, perhaps I can convince him to run out of town or something. I don't know. I'll take it. Okay. Dimitri, Dimitri wants Tadius to know who sends you before he dies. Okay. Yeah, probably not gonna do it, but no harm in speaking. Uh, Carrie has something to say about that. What's your opinion about the fact that your father hired me to murder Tadius? <laughs> you have to understand that the hub was home from um, home to many who loved it, and its destruction was hard for some of them. Dimitri was one of them. Not that he hadn't been a loony before that, but he'd never used to be so intolerable. If Tadius' death will do him good, I say go for it. Tell me about the destruction of the hub. Probably nothing new here. Floated over the town like a massive, unstoppable wave of flesh. Destroyed everything. Okay. Ooh, I leveled up! Sweet! I don't suppose it's a perk level, is it? Nah, not a perk level. Alright, well, I think I'm going to spend my skill points in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to spend my skill points. And then, I think... I think I'm probably going to do the, um, the Sheriff's Villa, like, stealing the stuff from the safe quest. I think I'll do that first, and then after that do the Frederick's Dream quest where I uh, go to the meeting in his stead and have to kill those people. <laughs>